Hi, I'm Jonah with Sweet Honey Code, and today we're going to take a look at the Meta Field Lists option within Shopify Meta Fields. So let's get started. So this new feature of Meta Field Lists is only available at the time of this video with single text and product references. So let's see how we can set this up. Right now I'm in my Shopify admin and I went to settings and then I clicked on Meta Fields. Here, I'm going to start a definition and name it. Now, I'm going to click on select content type and click on text. So here we can see that there's a checkbox labeled accept list of values. This option is also available if I went to click on change, reference, and choosing product as well. So for this example, I'm going to use the text option and click save. Now let's see how this works when we apply it to a product. So this is one of my products and I'm going to go to the bottom of the screen to work with this meta field. So I'm going to click on here so I can add as many list items as I need. So I'm going to add a few just to for an example. That looks perfect. So from here, I'm going to click save. Now I can see those three items have been added to that meta field. Let's see how this looks on the front side of my store. So we're gonna go click on online store and click on customize. So for this example, I'm gonna use no code to display this. There are two ways to display this meta field. We can actually use a text block or rich text blocks. Let's look at both examples. So I'm gonna add a text block to my theme here, erase the text in that field and choose dynamic source and then made a field list. Now I can see that it outputted my selection of three items and included a word to join it. So at the current time of rolling this out, at least with this theme, it does not show this list as a bullet list. So let's see how this looks in a rich text field as well. So down here is a rich text, dynamic source, and then made a field. So it displays the same way. So this looks good for now. For more advanced approach, I could definitely look into making my own custom block, and there is a possibility that other themes could display this field differently. This concludes this tutorial today on working with the Meta field. No way. Be sure to hit like and subscribe. Until next time, bye for now.